day. It is not a scary ride or some delicious food or anything like that. It's something that will make you pause and the people who are putting it on hope will make you think. Here's a look. My son along with the other four who had been handcuffed and hooded were taken outside of the vehicle and executed. For Nola Fritz, that horror has been transformed by this. A traveling museum to honor and remember the men and women who've died since America was plunged into war September 11th, 2001. We have about 72 percent. We have about 5,200 of the fallen. 5,200 persons are featured on these panels, which were erected outside the State Fair Center by local volunteers Tuesday morning. I know at least a couple of people who are uh, represented here. Trig the Hammer leads the local Marine Corps League in Minot. He's pitching in out of respect for those who've died, including a couple he knew. It means something when you know people. We asked the family to give us one picture of their hero in their military uniform, and then there's an inset picture that shows them loving life or loving family or loving a hobby, and a lot of people say that's what humanizes our soldiers. In the case of Nola's son Jacob, that means showing how hard he worked to become an Army officer. Even though he was only 25, he got to do what he wanted to do. He became that officer, that leader of men, which he had focused on since he was probably 10 years old. The display has been in many places just this year. It's been at the Lincoln Memorial, it's been at Wrigley Field, and it's now here at the North Dakota State Fair. When they're done here, they'll be heading out for the Indiana State Fair. Well, there's certainly more to the State Fair than, you know, just maybe a good ice cream cone or maybe a good show or maybe the screams of the folks coming from the Midway. P.J. Walker is live.